Hey, Rich. Yeah. Uh, I saw someone subscribe before I turned on the twatcher. Voodoo Mama Ganza. Okay, well, you said their name, so everything's Voodoo fine. Voodoo Mama Ganza has subscribed to us for 15 minutes. You did turn on the twatcher, though. I did turn it on, but All right. I, I saw that they subscribed before that. How's everyone doing? Hey, everybody. We're here today on a Monday. I have game. Rich really wanted to play Spider-Man Web of Shadows. How, and you're able to play this on PC. You purchased this before they removed it from all PCs. Yeah. I tracked it down. Hmm. Hmm? I, I saw a vision of the future of console gaming. Mm -hmm. You know how much used copies of... Well, not used. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because you... did they, here, Here's the downside of the digital download, right? Yeah. You can't do used. That's right. Do you know how much you can you can still you can still like you activate old keys that haven't been used yeah, for this yeah. game and you can't sell old ones. So you don't you know how much an unused key for this game is going for? Uh I mean I'm guessing brand new price is like 50 60 bucks. You know what that does to you? Try 100. Oh, Good. Good. You can find this game on PC for about $100 if you don't know where to look. <laughs> but uh, Le uh, legitimately, if you're looking at legitimate. if you want a legitimate copy, yeah, 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 you, you can find an unactivated key for this game for about a hundred bucks. Oh man! And I'm um, I'm thinking, once once the consoles finally get their digital stores, and once they finally, as they want to do, yeah. get rid of the discs because mm. they hate GameStop, they hate to use games. Yeah, yeah. That's the future of of console gaming. Yeah. You can't track down an old copy of a game from, from last gen on your last gen system anymore because, you know, Microsoft doesn't give a shit about the last gen. They're moving on. It's not going to be downloadable from their store anymore. You're going to track down some kind of old key yep. for a hundred bucks to play a seven-year-old game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I totally agree. Would you like some more news to stoke the, uh, the video game prepper in you? Yeah. Uh, this was this uh, was a story shared with me that I, I thought uh, this is exactly what Rich needs to know to to double down on uh, on the awful state of DRM. Okay. Yeah. So let's say uh, th this is a very a small uh, community and a very specific example. But let's say you really like the game Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Yeah. And let's say the only way, uh, the only computer you can game on is your is your Apple computer, is your Mac computer. Okay. Uh -huh. So now let's say you bought Metal Gear Rising Revengeance on your Mac computer, and today, this very day, you say, "Help! Oh, you know what I'm feeling like? I'm feeling like a little Metal Gear uh, Revengeance." Yeah. Uh, you can't. Yeah. Even if you bought it. Really. Really. Even if you bought it, and it, even if it's still downloaded on your Apple computer. Oh my god! Because, Rich, the company that was uh, in charge of its DRM has gone out of business. GOG! Support GOG, everybody! <laughs> and so, even if you still have the game downloaded to your computer, it is unable to make the DRM handshake with the company because the company went out of business. And so you are unable to play something you have purchased. Obviously, we're talking about a very small market here. You know, Apple, uh, uh, Mac uh -huh. Gaming, uh -huh. Metal Gear Re Rising Revengeance. Someone shared this story. Uh, if you go to VG247.com, they're reporting this story. Yeah, and, yeah. And, uh... DRM! D <laughs> There's no possible downside! <laughs> If you're a consumer, you should not support this! You should not be a fan of DRM! <laughs> I, think, uh, I, think, yeah. I think Doom has that, uh, one of those companies. So, you know, Someday Doom, 2016, will be yeah. un unplayable. Because it needs a digital handshake. Yeah. Yeah, that's very possible. Unless, unless you could find a pirated version. Well, the, so, the, but, but that's, that's the situation here, is people who have rightfully purchased this game can't play their rightfully purchased version, and so they ha they are forced to pirate. See, I have seen this coming. Yeah, I saw this coming decades ago. Yeah. This is one of the reasons I'm I'm kind of okay with piracy under certain <laughs> situations. Under certain situations, <laughs> uh, you know, under certain situations, it's uh, it is uh, justified. Absolutely.
So I, I yeah, I, I saw that story and I said, oh, Rich is gonna, Rich is gonna want to hear about this. And that's. I'm just gonna say it's finally happened. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, right. This this is the first example that I know of that I've that I've ever heard of. Uh. Chat, at this point, decades ago was the year 2000, all right? <laughs> I can say I saw this coming decades yeah. ago. And uh, Dragon Dara, this is not the first time that I've said that piracy is okay under certain circumstances. I've, I've also given con uh, concessions here or there. Uh, when it comes to preserving games that would be lost to time, when it, when it concerns um, mods and, you know, artistic development of certain tools, I, I think piracy has a place. But let's be honest, most people pirate just to steal. So. <laughs> Where's Cage in his search party? Oh, I like this game. Yeah. Terrible Spider-Man when he gets agitated. You know no oh, is he? He's like yelling at people. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, this is the flash-forward opening. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is Jack high horsing this early in the stream? 24 7, my friend. 24 7. What do you need? What do you need? How high you want me to get that horse? Because I can, I can get pretty dang high. I like everything in this game except for Spidey's agitated voice acting. Who does the voice, you know? I don't know. Because I, I was... Some guy who has never done the voice since, before uh, or since. Sure, sure. Because I, I think, I, I, in, in preparation, I was playing a little um, Shattered Dimensions, which is a Spider-Man game I've never played before. Yeah. Is that any good? Um, I, I, you know what, I just got through the tutorial. I just, I just don't give a shit about Noir Spider-Man! Spidey 299! I don't give... Oh, Noir Spider-Man just, just give me Peter Parker, man! <laughs> Who is that? Which the lady? It's Mary Jane. What? <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Just Mary Jane hanging out with Luke Cage with a shotgun. Perfectly normal. This is basically it. Basically turns into a zombie game. Oh yeah. Yeah. I saw the like the the white things you were fighting. Ah. Uh, but so I just got through the tutorial level. Uh, Noir Spider-Man actually has some some neat, you know, very very Arkham style stealth stuff happening, and I love the outfit. I love the Noir Noir Spider-Man's outfit. It's such a cool look. Yeah. I think like the the leather jacket that's got the the double. What do you call that when it's got two rows of buttons? Double breasted. Yeah. The double breasted leather jacket, the goggles. That's such a fucking cool look. Noir. I've never read a Noir Spider-Man book. If I'm gonna play a Spider-Man game, yeah. I want to play a Spider-Man, not some weird-ass version of Spider-Man. <laughs> I want them all. I don't want to play as punk rock Spider-Man. That's an ugly outfit. Yeah. That is an ugly outfit. I want to play as <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> Admittedly, punk rock Spider-Man is a super ugly outfit. So you get symbiote suit Spider-Man, and he's he's a bit more brute force. Sure, yeah, yeah. Than the other the other costume, oh, they gave him course. slightly slightly different play styles. Of course, of course. Well, I got all hyped up. You said you wanted to play this. We were talking yesterday, and you said you wanted to play this game. And yeah, and so you know, I was I was going through Shattered Dimensions, like, oh yeah, maybe we can do that too. I was watching all the uh, all the Spider-Man gameplay footage from E3, like you know their open world stuff. Looks so fucking cool. <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just getting, I'm getting very hyped for Spider-Man, which is a mistake because we're like two and a half months away. Yeah. So I, I need to, I need oh, to cool my. Other jokes. than, the, other than the costume. Yeah. And mostly just the white spider on the costume. Other than that. Right. It looks good. I. That's the thing. I'm getting, but. I, I can't get hyped because it's too far away. You know, like I gotta, I just gotta cool my jets on the hype just because it's too far away. It's just, it's probably the best game rendering of Spidey's mask. Yeah, yeah. In any cool. of the games. Well, and like they went out of their way during the demos because you know it was, it was the E3 demos to talk about like 
how you can change costumes and you know like oh your your upgrades will go with your costume changes and you just fight a couple bad guys and you get points and you can buy new costumes you know in game not like yeah. not like yeah. um, loot boxes or anything which is good Mary Jane. uh so that's uh, really nice but uh can let us know what's going on hold on one moment yeah. got your birthday present but then there was this loud noise and everything's fine let's go you're gonna be fine. I love my present. I love my present. So you can change costumes anytime. and land on the damn ambulance. I don't have to. I just want to. Oh, fuck. Denied. No, it slowed down because it turned. I almost had it. Too damn late now. I know the ambulance was taunting me. Did I ever play the Ultimate Spider-Man game? Yeah, that one's pretty good. Everyone in one piece, get her inside. You stop those lunatics. Uh, yeah, o okay. What are those webs attaching to? Look, in every other game except for Spider-Man the Two, they Spider they attached to nothing. Gang war. Good times. MJ was getting her arm in a cast. And I was feeling lousy for not being by her side. But if she knew I was ignoring what was going on in the streets, she would have kicked me back out the door. The animation for this game is so bad? Oh no! Spidey looks great web swinging! I love Spidey's animations in this. I knew this was over too quickly. You're gonna pay for messing up my boy, Spider Freak. It's cage! Wasted! Hey, I'm back. How's it going, everybody? Uh, it's going fine. Great. Ugh. Hey, Luke Cage. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so where were we? Spider-Man. Yeah. Oh, you know what I think I was excited about? Actually, I wanted to look up. Uh, I think in Shattered Dimension, it's my favorite Spider-Man, which is uh, Chris Dan Barnes. He did the voice of Spider-Man in the 90s cartoon. Eh. Uh. And, uh, <laughs> oh, I always liked his voice. Eh, you, 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 you're just not a fan of that one. Like what you want, Jack? I don't give a shit. I do. One, I do. Two, I will. Three, I do. Spider Man Shattered Dimensions. Neil Patrick Harris? Yes. The the MTV three D Spider Man cartoon by the same people who did reboot. Ew. Oh no, he's great! He is? He's great. Alright. Christopher, Christopher Daniel Barnes is Spider-Man Noir. Okay, so I was right about that. And then Neil Patrick Harris plays the regular, the voice of regular Spider-Man in Shattered Dimensions. But Chris Dan Barnes has always been like that's when when I read the comics, it's his voice that I hear. But you know, I don't I don't have a voice I hear for Spider-Man. You don't have a, you don't have the Spidey's voice in your head. No, for uh, Batman, it's clearly Kevin Conroy. Clearly. Clearly. I don't have an absolutely definitive Spider-Man, though. What? 
Uh, I just uh, just thinking about Kevin Conroy. Yeah, and it's clearly shutting down the drive by. It's just clearly him. There's nothing. That's not helping. What? I've been chasing these guys around all day. You see any more? You shut them down. <laughs> what? What? Jack hears voices. I do. Maximum Spider. I know. I'll do what I can. Nothing's happening. Don't worry. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's very cromulent. All the time. Look for me in the park later. Get out of here! <laughs> go, 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 you son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't give a shit. You see, there's a there's a there's a thing right there that you could put your face into. Wait. You, nope. You gotta lean in. <laughs> you gotta. You gotta, you lean, gotta lean all the way in. Here, lean in. Hello. Hey, look who it is! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> We're playing the Spiderman. We're playing Spiderman. <laughs> We're snuggle buddies now. We gotta share a microphone. Oh see? yeah. You're kind, oh yeah. You're kind yeah. of in there. As long as we're snuggle buddies, it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit weird. Hello, everybody. I'm I'm a little bit uncomfortable oh. with this. Well, you're, you're sitting over there too. You're not even like. I know. Not even in. That's how uncomfortable I am with this. <laughs> Sounds like you need to get over it. Yeah. What the hell, man? Come on. Somebody's insecure. Boom. <laughs> Be secure enough in your masculinity, man. Well, I'm I'm flying out soon. I thought I'd yeah, yeah. come in and say hello. Well, hi. I, I wasn't sure if you were stopping back here or what, so... Yeah, I'm just picking up the luggage, and then we're going to do something for the flight. The flight keeps getting delayed, so... Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Okay. Is it is there a blizzard in Canada? <laughs> As there always is. I know it's the summer, but I just assume there's it's a blizzard. It's like the same weather system as here, man. <laughs> no, I don't know where the plane is coming. It happened to Jim yesterday, too, so oh. I don't know what's going on. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Just well, there you go. Just say hi. Um, I just yeah. saved somebody from an exploding car. By we, the way. we may or may not have recorded some things. What? While we're here. Okay. Maybe You're going to talk about it in detail as you walk away from the microphone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Adios, Colin. Fuck right. out. Right. I'll see you guys again. I'll see you next, next year. Same time. Same time. Same bad channel. Oh, bye! <laughs> well, that was great. That was a surprise. Well, wait, how did the stretcher get there? What? Well, it's just in front of the damn hospital. There's just a stretcher out in front of the hospital? They're, they're waiting. They're waiting. There's so many- there's so much gang violence, they're just waiting for it. Oh! That is just like that's just one like medical intern's job is just to wait outside for Spider-Man to drop right, off. Bodies. Right, right. That's actually a little disturbing. Special guest? Or, uh, we didn't even know we were going to get a special guest today. How exciting! See, that's disturbing. What? <laughs> oh, he, oh, he's just murdering people. They actually <laughs> did this game come out first? This or which? Uh, or uh, Shattered Dimensions? Oh, this came out. I think this came out first, yeah. Uh, they actually address it in Shattered Dimensions. In, yeah. in one of the, two, you know, the, in your first fighting tutorial, you specifically knock someone off of a building. Yeah. And they get uh, transported to a, they, they get saved by, uh, by Madam Web. Oh. Like, they get transported, and Madam Web says, Ah, you can't, you know, try not to be so brutal. I'll, I'll save any if you shoot them off a building. <laughs> All right. But they brought it back in the new Spider-Man game, where you can just straight up knock people off buildings. Oh, I love that. Maybe, maybe Spider-Man in the PS4 game just murders. It's possible. It's very possible. I don't have the whoop. Whoa! Sorry, I don't have my, my web zip into enemy ability yet. Oh sure. I dig this animation. Someone in the chat was saying they hate the animation in this. I don't, oh, I don't, man. I don't get it. Look at it. Look, look. I love it. It's very, like you can tell they were taking inspiration from the comic books. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is. Whoa. Whoa. That's a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit disorienting right there. I, I think what you've just shown there is the major problem that will occur in any single Spider-Man game. Yeah. How do you make someone so acrobatic and have a camera that works? <laughs> uh, I think you shouldn't do violent camera changes. 
Oh, sure, but zoom out a bit <laughs> and have the camera move slower. How you know, like how can you control that and make sure that the player sees everything they need to see? I think that's going to be a problem in any Spider-Man game, no matter what. Oh, people are saying they were they were mad at the cutscene animation, not necessarily the Oh well who gives a shit about that? Come on. But I like Uncharted. The cutscene animation the cut in Uncharted animation is very impressive. Very, right? It's very important. It's, very it's more important than the game. Stories fucking are... fucking naughty dog fans. They're everywhere, Rich. Be careful. They're everywhere. There's no stopping them. There's no stopping them whatsoever. Do 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 do. Uh, hey, Rich. Yeah. It says Croc twenty three A. Console makers must truly have their backs against the wall because there is a rumor on a bunch of tech websites today about Microsoft partnering with Razer to get keyboard and mouse support going on the Xbox. Oh, hey! I'm down with that. Uh, I'm down with... I mean, like, that's just more accessibility in general. Did you see the uh, the the video for the big... The, the super accessible Xbox controller that they're working on? No. What do you mean super accessible? It's, it's this crazy... It, it looks like... Basically, it looks like a rectangle with giant buttons on it. This doesn't sound very accessible. Wait for it. <laughs> and it's a completely programmable controller input that uh, you can plug all sorts of different devices into. And so, like, you know, for example, if you lost an arm or something and you need a special paddle oh, okay. for a button, it can plug into that, the controller. That kind of accessible. That kind of accessibility, yes. Or, you know, like for, for people who are uh, paraplegic, you know, if you have to use your neck for, for the, uh, the D-pad or something yeah. like that, you can plug all sorts of accessories into this controller. And so it's basically a universal adapter for any game input. Hmm. I thought that was so neat. I hope it comes, you know, I hope it's also available, like, on PC, because or else all these uh, gamers with accessibility needs are going to need to buy Xboxes, and then they're going to be disappointed. Well, typically, because of Microsoft and Windows, you can use yeah. Xbox junk exactly. on the, the PC. Exactly. These kids think they haven't got any Why is Luke Cage so giant? Because he's Luke Cage. He's Luke Cage. And remember, Spider-Man's not a big dude. <laughs> Even grown-up Spider-Man, I'm pretty sure, is average. 5'10", according to the Marvel uh, handbook. He's 5'10". So what is, that, what is that on average? Is that shorter or is that perfectly... That's, that's, that's perfectly average. That's perfectly They average. deliberately picked the most average height available. <laughs> <laughs> He's the everyman. And Luke Cage is giant and muscly, so yes, that makes sense. I know. Yeah, Xbox. Xbox is making a lot of good decisions, mostly because they are behind. Uh, as far as what they're doing, you know, they're they're doing a lot of good cross-platform stuff. You know, if you're a Fortnite player, yeah, and you're on Xbox, you can play with people on the Switch. The same with Minecraft. They just did a big Minecraft crossover where if you do multiplayer Minecraft, the the Switch and the Xbox One can talk to each other. Yeah. And that's very exciting. This is not a decision that Xbox would have made uh, had they been a uh, leader. And we know that to be true because PlayStation is not playing with others. <laughs> right, right. PlayStation is not allowing any sort of cross-play with, with their Fortnite or whatnot. Because they don't need to. They're on top. <laughs> but... Uh, if you want to show the controller, to, oh, thanks, Colonel Rich Mustard. Colonel Rich Mustard uh, has uh, has the link to the uh, the super accessible controller thing. It looks really neat. The promo video they put together, you know, a, t a tad bit heartbreaking, but really exciting that they're they're thinking about people with special needs when it comes to gaming. And so that's always that's a, a little bit of positivity for your day, right there. People are really upset in the chat about the height of Luke Cage in a comic book video game. My spider the the height of the super strong muscle man. I know. As compared to Spider Man. I know. Exactly. He. I mean, they're very upset. He. 
to you know? he's probably larger than he would be if he were a real person but okay. this is a video game based on a comic book yeah so i guess i'm gonna allow it <laughs> it's called exaggeration sure yeah hyperbole a little bit in visual hyperbole sure, sure. yeah They want to make him a distinct character. <laughs> just, just run into that car. You know, it's fine. it's fine. It is. They want to make him a distinct uh, silhouette as compared to Spider-Man. I think that's a good idea. I, I think what Richard's trying to say is settle the fuck down. Spider-Man, I'm, I'm, no, you know what? New Spider-Man hasn't really met anyone. New Spider-Man? Uh, uh, Marvel, sorry, Marvel MCU Spider-Man. Oh! Tom Collins. Tom Holland. Holland. Tom Holland. Tom, Tom Collins. That's a drink. That's all right. Uh, <laughs> Are, you okay? Are you okay, Jack? I, 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 Rich, just stop by and have a little nip before I came here. Everything's fine. Uh, Tom Holland hasn't had a chance to meet many people in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay. Um, but it does kind of make you want that guy. scene with him and just like a super strong bruiser guy. Has he done that in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? No. Just him versus a brick wall like Luke Cage. A Hulk. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you kind of want that? <laughs> That be that would be fun. Yes, I want I want that scene where you know he's on his web and he's doing his big pendulum swing and he's about to like you know he thinks he's gonna knock a guy down and yeah. just splats right into him. That'd like be the, great. They haven't had the the rhino job for a cameo yet, so <laughs> that's what we need. We need him versus. Well, we don't need that. It would be fun. That kind of stuff is fun. Who's playing Luke Cage in the TV show now? We need him. We need him to to have a tiny little scene with that Luke Cage. That would be fun. I keep hearing very positive things about season two of Luke Cage. Don't thank me. I didn't. I didn't even know they had a season two. <laughs> See, it just came out. <laughs> okay. And everyone's saying like, "Whoa, so much better than season one." And I, I was not a big fan of season one. Uh, I, I will probably watch it only because of Misty Knight, who I loved in season one. Mm -hmm. uh, she's back, but with a robot arm, because she got her arm sliced off. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yeah, it's fine. Well, she, in the comics, she has a robot arm and uh, her sliced off. So, so I'm down. I'm down. Like I'm down for just a Misty Knight show. Whoop. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Settle down, Spider Man. Just uh, spazzing a little bit, but that's fine. I fucked up a jump, man. Yeah. How can you not like those animations? But the cup thing. Oh, the cup thing. The cup thing. I think my story tells the cup thing. Misty Knight sounds like a Bond girl name, probably. I'm I'm assuming she was she was a, an original character back in the day from the black exploitation comics from the. Heroes for Hire comics. I Misty Knight. No idea. Oh, neither do I. But like Misty Knight also sounds like the the femme fatale in a black exploitation film. Yeah. We're gonna go see Misty Knight take down these crack dealers. Bow 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 bow. Every time you take one of these dudes down, that's one less guy. That is very true. Marvel TV and Marvel films do not play nice with each other. Why not? Why not? Uh, Marvel TV's been pretty decent. They've had some good shows. The, the here here's one explanation that I have that makes more sense. I mean, obviously, there's a ton of logistics involved. There's a, a lot of agents and lawyers involved. Yeah. But the one explanation that I that I heard that that really sunk in for me was: is any cameo or crossover going to be enough for people like you know the the there was talk of like maybe a little cameo of them in infinity wars right i i want to see daredevil cameo in the new spider-man that'd be, cool. that'd be that, that would fit that would fit that would fit 
That would fit. But would he? Would it be a big enough cameo to give his character enough do? Would oh, what was that? Bounced off a wall. Oh, okay. You know, there's only so much screen time that can be given to any character. Is I, I think the the explanation that I heard, and so you you just have to you have to draw a line somewhere. But I could see I could see a daredevil helping Spidey out. Well, what's the new Spider-Man? We just learned the new Spider-Man uh, name, the name of the new movie. Uh, Far from, far from home? home. Yeah, yeah Spider-Man Far from Home. Oh, Blazin bitch! I, uh, Blazin, yeah, Blazin bitch. Uh, I liked Jessica Jones season two. Uh, I thought, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty damn good. I could see how someone wouldn't like it though, because it didn't, you know, with with uh, without. Uh, uh, oh shit! I'm gonna forget his name. The doctor, the guy who played the doctor, was Purple Man, and his name is. His name is. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna. His name is Kilgrave, but his real name. His name is, is Doctor Di Who. His real name is Doctor Who, but some people refer to him as David Tennant. <laughs> Thank you, Tiberius <laughs> Kirk. Without like David Tennant in season one, was a, a an awful man and a great villain. It's just you wanted that villain torn to pieces, and he was interesting and cool and thematically appropriate and it made season one incredibly visceral it was just revenge you know like all right we're down season two the villains and their motivations and how bad they are are kind of wishy-washy which plays really well with the themes of season two and so it's just not as visceral and so I could see someone not liking season two, even though like it all makes sense in the story and it's all it, it's all messy, but it's supposed to be messy. So also David Tennant is fantastic. He's just a fantastic actor. So more David Tennant. Now come at me from there, hard as you can. Ready? Go. There you go. All right, finally unlocking the good stuff. Yeah, get there. <clears throat> get there. The good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but I think a, a lot like with Homecoming, speaking of just Spider-Man and, and Daredevil, just more more scenes of more uh, seasoned heroes absolutely shutting Spider-Man down. I loved that <laughs> in, uh, in Homecoming of just, you're fucking up, kid. Yes, your heart is in the right place. But you're fucking up. That's one. Of, that's some of my favorite Spider-Man. Is just, you know, he wants so bad to do good, but he's not very he's not good, good at it. But he's not good <laughs> at it. Right. <clears throat> but is he? Oh, he just wants it. He wants it so bad. So a little, a little scuffle with Daredevil and Daredevil just absolutely owning him. <laughs> Let's settle down. He's like, what? What? Ah, uh, you know, he's got superpowers. He's got his spider sense, but Daredevil has the seasoned. He has the training, and he's like, nope, okay. no, no. <laughs> well, it shouldn't go down. That way, but yeah. Oh well, that's no. what you would do as a writer. Of yeah. course, of course, because that's what it, that's what Spider-Man's all about. And I, I really like how Tom Holland plays him. You know, kind of just uh, a little naive, a little, a little uh, wide-eyed, and and ready to go. What's my what's our take on the new animated Spider Verse project? Oh, Rich specifically, Rich. I just don't care. Mm -hmm. I I don't want to see eight thousand different versions of Spider Man running around. That's it's weird. <laughs> uh huh. And I don't know why they're going with the herky jerky art style. It doesn't make any sense. Just, just trying to be... It made sense in the Lego movie because they were trying to look like stop motion. Mm -hmm. like, like, it's, like it's actual Legos. That made sense. I think they're just... They're I just don't know why the fuck they're doing it in a Spider-Man movie. Going for style, man. Going for style. And uh, it, it might also just have a budgetary reason. Just less less frames to animate. 
Say we can literally save half of our production budget if we just do this style. Like, oh, okay, yeah, uh, no, it's uh, it's artistic. No, I think it looks. I think it looks super. Oh my god, what are you doing to that lady? I'm bringing her to a hospital. She's injured. Oh, okay. I'm I'm damaging her far more than just waiting for an ambulance would have. <laughs> oh, like god. I am. I'm gonna break every bone in her fucking body. Yep. No, you've you've just dislocated her shoulder. Yeah. She's vomiting okay. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! More flips. More flips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man, think. <laughs> I know I can walk. I can walk from here, please. <laughs> yes, I know my leg is broken. And but... there you go. <laughs> you're, you're, you are now safe. <laughs> Wait, you, she's dead. You've killed her. <laughs> he's, he's checking for a pulse. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, man. <laughs> That's the young fuck up Spider Man right there. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's great. All right, what do we got here? We got Praxis, who says, Hello! In my continuous effort to become more like you guys, I recently bought FTL, Dragon's Dogma, and Dead Rising on sale. Uh -huh. uh, about 20 bucks total. Is rich. It's Rich Evans week for me over here. Playing Yay! FTL right now and loving it. Yay! Jack likes FTL, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not as fanatical as you are about it. And uh, more importantly, I'm just not as good. Uh, there, there's no way I can be as uh, as tactically mindful as you. Even though I've beaten it a few times, and oh, it's a damn fine game that FTL. Damn fine game. Uh, have you been, have you been uh, paying attention to the Steam sales at all? Uh, not really. Not not closely. Um, I've I've purchased a few things here and there. Anything exciting? Uh, I don't. I really. Uh, there, there's a game called Caves of Quud. Q U D. Okay. That is supposed to kind of be like a very old school roguelike, like an actual like rogue roguelike. Yeah. That um, has been in development for a while. It's still in early access, but it's it's one of those like anything's possible kind of games, as long as you're able to use your imaginations. And it was on sale. Uh, and the developer said, like, this Steam sale is probably the cheapest it will be in a few years, and you can still help support the development. As they, and it's been on my wish list forever. Yeah. This Caves of Quad. Uh, I bought uh, Thimbleweed Park, which we've talked about playing. It was on Super Sale. I bought... Oh, I, I, I can't even keep track of all the games that I just... Like, I, I bought maybe five or six games because they've been on Super Sale. And they, uh, the other good part of the Steam sale, something I, I, I joked about on Twitter the other day, is uh, the it, it also has the un the, the amazing ability to clean up my wish list. Yeah. Because you know, fi like find like half of my wish list was under five dollars. And you know what? If I'm not buying this game for four ninety nine, then I'm just not <laughs> buying it, right? Like I had this that bullet storm game on my wish list forever. And it was something like seventy five percent off. Yeah. It's, it's a forty dollar game and it was under ten dollars. And I looked at it again, I watched the, the, the gameplay trailer again and I just said eh, I'd rather play Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Is Bullet Storm the one everyone tells me I would like? Yeah, yeah. It's it's a first person shooter and you get like like it's half guns, I think half magic powers, but it's supposed to be a really intense yeah. First person shooter, a lot like Doom. And uh, it was $10. And still, I couldn't, I just could not bring myself. I was like, I don't care. I don't care about playing this game off my wish list. So I also cleaned up my wish list a lot, which is great. Clear out the clutter. Also, how are we liking this game? Well, Jack has never played it, but mm -hmm. I this is my favorite Spider Man game. So I'm, I'm fond of it. Too true. We need a deal. 
I have never played it, and unless I... I mean, at this point, it, it might be cheaper to find a, a used PS3 and copy of this game to it, get a, a Windows version of it. It is definitely cheaper to do that right now. <laughs> right. So, you know, I guess I'll, I'll be on the lookout for... Because it's not officially available anywhere. Right. Yeah. Oh, wait, did they make a... Did they make a uh, what was this, PS3? So that would be... A Wii. Did they make a Wii version? Spider-Man 2 on PS2 was so much better. No, it wasn't. Uh, it ha I'll, I'll grant you it had the more interesting web swinging, but that does not make a complete Spider-Man game. This game's got that that game smash when it comes to just fighting. Mm -hmm. Spidey beating the shit out of people and jumping around. and This, uh, once, this, this once, open world stuff looks a lot better. There's a there's a whole skill tree going on here that slowly unlocks. Okay. Once, once I got more of this unlocked, there's some just, just sweet fucking mid-air combo shit you can do. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. You, you can you can juggle people in air, just whip them back to you, <laughs> throw them away. Really, really, just give you that Spider-Man feeling. Like yeah. If I had these powers, oh, I'd be fucking people up. That's great. That's what I was uh, getting me. You know, speaking of extra hyped for the new Spider-Man game, they were talking about some of the unlock abilities and like, uh, yeah. like you know, kind of the same thing where you can. You can, like, have suit power-ups, and, like, different suits will be able to do different things, and it's like, ooh, yeah! Just new ways to punch bad guys. That's what I want. I want to punch all the bad guys. So, uh, did this have a Wii version? I wonder? <sighs> if it does, it's probably crap. Right. Because it's, you know, the Wii version. The, right, right. Because I still have a Wii. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, well, I have a Wii U, which can play Wii games. Mm. Ultimate Spider-Man was good. I, I like this more. Mm -hmm. There is a Wii version? Okay. I'll have to look into that. See if, it, see if it's even a little bit as good. Oh, man. Those oranges are going to mess up those purples. <laughs> look at this. Look at this gang fight. It's the same gang member, just wearing different jackets. Basically. They had to cut some corners. Whoop. Fell into the road there a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. Eh. Go. Yeah. Moon Knight is in this. Which gives it points, but Ultimate Spider-Man mentions Dark Hawk, so that's a point in its favor. I don't know who. I actually don't know who Dark Hawk is. Oh, God, that's that's old school. That's that's, that's some '90s character that didn't <laughs> didn't survive the '90s. <laughs> oh no! Was it a Rob Liefeld? I know. I doubt that. All the pouches. Did it have all the pouches? I did have like some kind of silver helmet thing. I think I remember and, that. And character. arm arm wings. No, never mind. Wings that went from like you know the shoulder to. Sure. No, okay. Nope. I don't know who you're talking about. Who made this? This is. These are all Activision, right? Yeah, Treyarch, Activision. Someone else's name is on this. Right. <laughs> I don't know everyone. Ooh. Hey, Luke. You back already? So, how did you get in this whole superhero business, anyway? A long story. Uh, sorry, Chuck Fox, I have not seen Deadpool 2 yet. Moon Knight is basically Batman, but I think formally crazy. He has multiple personality disorder, right? Yes. Moon Knight? Yeah. Yes, I, I, I did. I, I read. I've read exactly one Moon Knight. Um, no. collection. Yeah, yeah. The the Bendis collection of Moon Knight, in which he was actually crazy and like As a kid, sounded cool, thought huh? he was talking to Spider Man and uh, Captain America, but they were just figments of his imagination. <laughs> but he would like use them to help him figure out stuff. Uh, but I didn't think it was very good. The the Moon Knight comics I read I did not believe were I did not think were very good so. 
Chat, I did I did not even know uh, Summer Games Done Quick was going on right now. Chat. Shit. <laughs> this coming By the way, the man that used to run around in a yellow puffy shirt with the little silver tiara on his afro. <laughs> Like they make jokes right about now. his old Get costume. I thought he was going to punch him. <laughs> oh, it's <was> funny. <laughs> <laughs> Still, you wore a tiara. <laughs> oh, I don't like this voice actor at all. Hey, Spider, you Who is this? Made an this is Web of... That's good to hear. Yeah. So much so that now these games this is Web of Fan. This is this is Mike Vaughn doing the voice. By heavy, do you mean and serious? Mike Vaughn. Not someone who has done a lot of work. Uh, interesting enough, Mike Vaughn does the voice of Iggy Koopa in the Mario Brothers games. <laughs> okay. So there's that. But <laughs> Good to see so you know, you got that. I've been thinking about your unique fighting skills. Of course you have. They're awesome. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Spider-Man you voice. You could use your web yeah. to swing into a large group of enemies and take them out with one single kick. Let's find a nice clump of thugs, and I'll give it a shot. All right. This corner is infamous for gang trouble. Okay, what do you want me to do? Yeah. You gotta run and start to swing, then take him out with one. Yes, who could get, forget the famous kick. Iggy Koopa they voice? You, they're gonna try to run, so be fast. Why is Spider Man standing like that? Yeah. Because <laughs> he's doing his, his spider he's, waiting. He's ready. He's ready to go. Ah, you people are nuts. The animation in this game is great. <laughs> the only thing that matters is this stuff. Like, just look at him swinging around. That's. Oh, tree. That's great. For you, Spidey. Think you can do it again? But of course. Good. I have another bunch of hoods. Looks like they have a lookout this time. So take them out fast. Uh, I have not seen the Westworld final. I'm, I, I'm about three or four episodes behind in Westworld season two. So far, very much enjoying it. It's it's just you know another fine example of the, you know how we are getting nice. We are getting some excellent sci-fi right now. There is excellent sci-fi on TV right now, Westworld being some of it. You should never fail a mission for leaving the mission zone. A big group, and they have more than one <laughs> just move fast is that what happened there? Yeah. You, you just swung by him and, oh, nope, you've left the mission zone. Oh, I hit them, but I, I swung too far oh. out of the area I was supposed to go, which is utter horseshit. Yes. Especially if you d did hit them like yeah. you were supposed to. Yeah, yeah. Nice moves, Spidey. I always strive for efficiency in my superheroes. Right. Anyway. So Luke Cage can't be bothered to fight crime? Luke Cage is mentoring right now. We can only assume Spider-Man hired him <laughs> to mentor him. <laughs> and so Luke Luke Cage only he Luke Cage ain't no dummy. He works for money. All right, there are no cars. There they are. There are cars now. What do you have to do? No, it's, it's really weird in New York Street with no cars. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually. Oh. You can summon Luke Cage. Oh, look at that! He teleports in and starts punching yeah. people. That's great. You get a soup de doop meter. Cool. Uh, okay, so I know everyone was complaining about Luke Cage. Uh, some of these thugs are disproportionately big. Yeah. Right? Like they're, they're like it looks like it looks like they're giant men compared to Spider-Man. So Luke Cage does fight crime. You'll be happy to know. Well, that's great. I am I am upset that you don't have any in-game currency that you lose when he comes in, though, because that would just be special meter. 
What? Special meter. Well, sure, but I like it would be funnier if it was actual money. Oh, for Luke Cage specifically? Yes. like you, I get it. You need to earn money so you can hire Luke Cage to come and help I you fight. I get it. Obviously, you know, you can't fit every good joke in there, but that would be fun. Because he's the hero for hire. <laughs> Is he which, still a mercenary in which, the Which, by the way, yeah, I don't even know if they do that anymore. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know if in the comics he does that anymore. It was a great gimmick. Oh, it's a great gimmick. Yeah, those bad guys look giant even compared to the cars. That's just, see that's just yeah, bad rendering on some on some level, but Eh, it's, it's PS3, it's fine. It's <laughs> it's the best they could do, Rich. <laughs> it's, you know, it's like, uh, it's like uh, being an art critic for cave paintings. It's like, this is the best they could do. They didn't know any better. They didn't know any better. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, nope. Where? Uh, Gobbledy G's, which I assume is Gobbledy Gooks, but it just says Gobbledy G's. Uh, says Rich, I have never really felt like I've owned a PC game ever. You, okay. You buy it without resale value. I have a garage full of thousands of console games, many purchased using uh, used at rental stores. Remember those good old consoles. You rarely bought used PC games there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I think that was just a... And and, and yet, on my computer, yeah. I've got pretty much every PC game I've ever owned mm -hmm. loaded up. I... You're a game prepper. And I dig that. I'm... You know, I think I'll. I'll I, I think you, but you, both of you are saying the same thing, which is like, you know, on, on one hand, you can have a box full of cartridges, yeah, or you can have a box full of hard drives. Either way, as long as you own the thing, as long as you have the ability to play whenever you feel like playing, right? And so I mark my words: by next gen and the consoles, discs are going to be a thing of the past. I'm surprised. You're not going to feel like you own anything then. They were supposed to be a thing of a, of a past two years ago. Only only once once uh, Sony is done with the PlayStation 5 and they stop supporting it, you won't be able to re-download your games mm -hmm. anymore on that. Yep. Or on the Xbox 2 or whatever the fuck they decide to call the fucking thing. <laughs> the Xbox 1000. The Xbox 1000. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, uh, it's... I've got I've I, I only need one thing hooked up mm -hmm. and it's got all my crap on it. Yeah. Like how many fucking consoles have there been there? Have there been now? In in life? How much of a pain in the ass is it if you want to play an old game on a console? Like you gotta dig out the Super Nintendo, or you gotta dig out the GameCube or whatever the fuck it is. Not only that, then you have to find out how to hook it up to your modern TV. Like oh yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> gotta make sure you have a TV with the right kind of refresh rate and attachments and adapters. Yeah, yeah. But it's still there. It's still there and you still own it, right? That's the important part. That's the important part. And I, I suppose it's kind of the same with old PC games because if you go far enough back, do you have, you know, a DOS box to play that game? Do you have the right kind of software to play the old hardware if you have it, right? <laughs> it's not that big a hassle. I think sometimes it can be just the architecture in which you play games. Change, can change so much from operating system to operating system. Here's the thing, though. Somebody has figured it out. Usually. And you just do a, how do I get this game running on yes. a modern system? Okay, I need to do this, this, and that. Thanks to the hive mind yeah. of the internet, yeah. someone has figured it out, tested it, retested it, refigured it out, and has it available usually for free. It just takes some doing. Just takes some doing. No, and well, it was it was a couple a couple years ago at an E3 when when uh, when Microsoft announced their their whole plan to get rid of discs and everyone threw a, a knip shit. Right? They started a little bit too early. I really I sincerely believe they're gonna try again. Oh, of course, it's the smart way to do things from a business standpoint. It'll be um the next gen. 
I think it'll be a transitional. Okay. It'll be like, here's a new store! Now everything's going to be available on the online store! And you got the online store, the we'll have some discs. And then by the by the end of that, like less and less will be available on the disc. Yeah. Well, Halo Five, it's only available from the Microsoft Store, the online thing to download. Uh, like, but at ten percent off. Well, like that. Uh, that'll uh, be five five percent off. That'll be the interesting thing: is what's going to be the big game that they say won't be on a disc? Yeah. Right, because that'll be the that will be the official change. Yeah, the next Halo game, the next Sony exclusive, you know, Last of Us 3. Right, Only right. available via digital download. Well, you know what? It was just, it was too big for a disc. That's and we didn't want to do multiple yeah. discs. And you know what? To to ease your burden on your hard drive, there's actually a lot uh, of content that you need to contact the server for. Couldn't you have just used compression software? You didn't no, use no, any compression no. I mean, It was too because big we for wanted the disc. It, we wanted it to look <laughs> good for you, so we didn't want to compress it. And so that's why you need to sign on to our server <laughs> in order to, to receive the information via our servers. We're not charging you for it yet. As but, long um, as you're subscribed as to as Xbox a, Live, as long as you're a PS plus, fifty nine ninety nine a month, a PS Plus member, you get to play it anytime you want. It's absolutely, <laughs> and it will be the gaming experience that you're looking for. We're, we're proud of our team. They they really crossed some uh, technical hurdles to bring you this experience. Where they at? Where they at? Just save somebody from an exploding car, Jack. I saw that. That was awesome. Yeah. It happens every now and then. Ah, oh, that's great. That's fucking being Spider-Man, right? Oh. Just Technically, that is too. I mean, I'm, he gets punched in the face every now and then. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually wish he went flying a little further, because I think Spider-Man does that once in a while. <laughs> just, just, wow, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I think I think next gen will be the transition when they finally get the, the digital store for the consoles. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm with you. And then all your software will eventually eventually be obsolete. Well it's like, you know, they already have decent digital stores and they're already doing some of that with your, you know, Xbox Microsoft membership with your PS plus membership and getting your free games as long as you have your membership, right? They're already doing some of that, but it'll be interesting to see what their what their big title is going to be once once they show their hand. Is it going to be Halo? Is it going to be Uncharted Eight? Is it going to be the next? Um, is it going to be Death Stranding? Death Stranding is only available online, right? Yeah, well, it probably won't be that. What's what's going to be the game? Where they say digital only. Now let's talk about DRM. And of course, we're only we're only talking about the negative aspects of DRM because there are what are the positive aspects of DRM? Well, it's only positive if you're 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 the fucking uh, publisher. Well, w but with DRM, publishers feel comfortable with digital sales in general. Re All remember, right. bef All before right. DRM was a thing, publishers were scared of Steam. They didn't want it out there because they were so afraid of pirates. I'm scared of Steam, <laughs> but for different reasons. <laughs> That's true. That's tr I, I hear you. But you also don't make games, so <laughs> you're, you're less important. Def going to be, oh, the next Call of Duty. Now, Ca Cassie Cross, you got it. That's a, that's a great example. The next Call of Duty will be the, the first digital only one. See, that's pretty much a multiplayer only thing. That that makes some sense. Yeah. I mean, who gives a shit? That game's got a shelf life anyway. Oh right, but that then it makes No, no. Save the guy. Save the guy, Spidey. What? What? She glitched out. Well, uh you still got the points, I think. No, I got the, oh, I got the the evil points, the black points. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I am too. I think that is really cool. So, how how do you get the warning? Does it just go in slow mo yeah. when you know? Yeah. That's. I neat. think there's a sound effect associated with it. Sure, too. sure. That's neat. She glitched out on me. I had her. Yeah. She was in my fucking hands. Yep. 
She left the she left the the tutorial zone. She left out. the mission zone. Yep. She got blown out of the mission zone, Rich. <laughs> wow. Hit me. That get that thug with a bat. Yeah. Hit me so hard. I smashed into a taxi and blew it up. To that normal thug with a baseball bat. To be fair, that is not a normal thug with a baseball bat. Look at how big he is. <laughs> Look at that. He is giant. These are obviously gang members who are also super mutants. Uh, so I'm going to be... Nice. That is... Oh, that is super yeah. neat. That's a great idea. Ah. Oh, fucked up my smash. Mm. So anyway, the, I think the moral of the story is DRM giveth, DRM taketh away. Mostly take it away. And what we should be up. concerned about is it taking taking it away. <laughs> there, but you know, I, like I, said, I, I, I think we're being very negative. So we should see the. There is also a positive benefit, which is just the amount of things we can play, which is also a negative benefit because there's too many things to play. Can can DRM be time sensitive? Can it go away after seven years? I'll take seven, and then 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 the DRM goes away on your copy. Once you purchase it, it has a ticking time clock. No, like like the DRM after after the game's old, yeah, and they're not as worried about making money on it. Yeah, we'll, we'll take away the DRM. You don't have to phone home to our company anymore, so the game that you you had on the Mac will will still work even if that fucking DRM company goes out of business. Well, but see, that was the problem. Was the DRM company went out of business, so they can't rewrite the code? <laughs> I'm sure it's been hacked. You gotta find you gotta find the pirated version because the DRM doesn't really stop the piracy. Oh, it, uh, the DRM has done. Uh, it doesn't stop the piracy. It does do an incredible job of lessening it, though. The uh, how did the uh, The Witcher Three do? Fantastic. Are there a ton of pirated copies of The Witcher Three? Are there more copies of The Witcher Three floating around? Pirate or or normal, like compared, relatively speaking, oh, relatively know. speaking, how yeah. pirated was The Witcher Three? Well, I have no idea because that had no DRM. Right. Yeah. Uh, I have no idea. I I know in general, I'm not convinced it's helping that much. Basically, because the pirates, they're going to find a way around this shit. Oh yeah, no. You know, DRM has done nothing for piracy. Uh huh. Steam has done a great deal to curb piracy because they've made it so easy to get games. Is is my is what I'm saying. Uh, Steam has done an amazing job of just saying if you make it easy for people to get games, they will be less likely to pirate, and that has been true. Since Steam has been around, piracy has been down in general. Okay, okay, but of course, people want people love things for free, and people love just breaking games and cracking games and figuring out the bullshit. Right? People mm. love that. That's never ever going away. No matter what. But I think the the lesson learned with 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 Steam, or even fucking you know we we can take Netflix as an example of this is if you make it really easy for people to get stuff, they will take the path of least resistance, <laughs> right? Even if it's like ten dollars versus free, that ten dollars means I can have the game and it'll work really great. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm okay with that. Pirates are gonna pirate. I'd rather buy it if it's cheap. That's right, Captain President. It's it's about it's it's all about how easy how easy it is to get the thing, and and that's the the positive. These again, and it wouldn't be easy to get these things if we didn't have DRM. So that's the positive side of it. But there's a negative side of it. It's almost like it's a gray issue, like the rest of the world. It's crazy. It's crazy. So I just wanna I wanna finish all of the optional missions before I before I go and progress the story. Oh yeah, do it. Fuck man, you're just being Spider Man. Spider Man it up. Uh, I know, I'd like to get to some of the crazier shit that happens in this though. Okay. Hey, you do you. It's why GOG is doing so well. G well G GOG is finally getting getting some titles. Which is great. 
which is great. We should we should be supporting GOG as much as humanly possible. I know, and you know, Rich will say for the DRM free, but also for the competition. I both find reasons to support GOG, yeah. honestly. <laughs> right? Like you know, Steam Steam has been good, but every you know competition uh, does nothing but good. So having having someone out there nipping at their heels is going to mean Steam gives us the things we want. Technically, EA Origin is is competition, but EA are also douchebags. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Damn it! They were too far away, Jack. Mm-hmm. If that were true, people wouldn't pirate shit that was available through Humble Bundle. There are people who will steal stuff no matter what. Yeah. That... It, it doesn't <clears throat> matter. You... I, I'm sure a developer could give away a game for free as long as you typed in your email address and someone will still find a way to crack it and steal it yeah. and torrent it. <laughs> people will steal no matter what. Why do you hate people? Me? Because uh, because I've been because I've met people, Rich. I've met, I hate people because I've been around people. Whoops. Where are we? We are at um, uh, Dick Gentlier, who says, I just wanted to tell you that I'm honored to have been the first watcher to get unfucked last stream. <laughs> that is all. Thank you, Dirk Gentlier, for, for being uh, our, our inaugural unfucker. And actually, thank you for reminding us that we're unfucking people. Because I'll be honest, I have forgotten. I just forget. I just forget sometimes. I gotta blow up one more gang car. One more gang car game. Where the gangs at? From the front to back. Ah, eh, they're not in the car, so I don't care. <laughs> uh how very un Spider Man of you. I know. Apparently, the next Spider-Man game will be MCU canon. Eh. No, if if the if the PS4 Spider-Man is good, I hope they do another one in that universe. If it's good, the the PS4 Spider-Man is Spider-Man, who has been Spider-Man. Uh, I, I was just watching some of the gameplay. You know, the the yeah. developers playing it uh, over at E3, and they said it's Spider-Man, and he's been Spider-Man for seven years. Okay. So I guess. Technically, it could be the same MCU Spider-Man. Probably not. But they they were talking about kind of a, a more established Spider-Man, more established but still learning stuff. And there you go. Now you got a gang car. No, it's looking it's looking pretty neat. That that new Spider-Man. Are you guys ever going to stream Resident Evil 4? No. Yes. <laughs> Pick. Pick which one you want to believe. <laughs> I just don't give a shit about Resident Evil. You I, know. I guess you're a fan, so. I like Resident hey, Evil go, 4. Go right ahead, Jack. Yeah, I'll stream it. I'll stream it, Rich will watch, and, and laugh at all the ridiculous parts. Yeah, I just don't care. It's not like I hate it. No. It's, not, it's not like I hate Resident Evil. Oh, Resident Evil. I just don't give a shit. I legitimately hate the first couple of Resident Evil games. I never had a good time playing those ones. Yeah? The ones with the fixed camera. Oh, God, that bothered me. And I understand, like, that was supposed that was the whole point, is, like, how awkward you were to control, you know, because it wasn't about the fighting. It was about, you know, the terror and figuring out a way around the zombies, but I still fucking hated it. 
So, you know, Resident Evil 4 came around and it was just a regular shooter, and I was okay with that. Yeah, maybe I'd like 4. It's, it's big corny fun, man. You fight a giant zombie fish at one point. <laughs> and apparently Resident Evil 4 had a, had like a, uh, Oh, what do you call it? What did they do in uh, for Left 4 Dead where it had like a, a an artificial intelligence kind of figure out how good you were doing at the game and automatically adjust the difficulty? AI director? Some, yeah, AI director. It had something like that where it, it kind of automatically tailored the experience. If you were getting through too fast, it would make it a little harder. If you were struggling, it'd make you know, to, to, to make it just the right difficulty all the time. I don't know how I feel about this. Hmm. Uh, I think it worked because uh, the game flows very nicely. Thanks for working so hard, Spidey. You saved the it also time. had a really great inventory system. What I do? It was very simple and very dumb, which is just you have a case, and anything that you want to take with you, you have to like Tetris into the case. That's not unique to that game. I'm not saying it was. I'm saying okay. it was nice. Okay. I'm not saying they invented it. I'm saying they had a good inventory system, hokey but good. Okay, I like I liked that. Just like, oh, you gotta, you want this thing? You gotta fit it in here. And like, oh. okay, you gotta rotate your gun, and then you can fit all your plants next to your gun. I thought it was neat. All right, fuck um, that up. Keg Sticky says, "Hey, Jack." Saw you at the Yeti warehouse sale while my brother and I were on my way on our way in. Uh, hope you got a crud ton of t-shirts and enjoyed time out with your family. The DJ there was popping. P.S. My brother and I got sixty shirts for sixty buckaroos. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> it was awesome. I know. I tell people that I went to Aurora, Illinois, to buy t-shirts, and they all give me the same look. You know, just why? Why? I was like, because they were really cheap. It was, I, I guess. So, so you know, Yeti dot com is a is like a nerd T shirt company. Yeah, and they're having a big sale, uh, and it was in Aurora, Illinois, which is you know about two hours away from Milwaukee here. And so I said, ah, sh fuck it, I'll I'll go down and. You know, I, I took the kids with me and uh, figured they could pick out some nerdy t-shirts, too. And, you know, we'd make kind of a morning of it, you know. Uh, and I, I I guess I was expecting it to not be a very big deal. You know, like, oh, I'll be able to browse some shirts. You know, they'll probably have a stack of this and this sizes and a stack of this and this sizes. And we got there fairly early. They opened at 10 and we got there at like quarter after 10. Mm -hmm. Right. And it was a madhouse. There was a hundred people in this very small space and they just had piles, not organized uh, in, in any kind of logical order, except for by size, kind of. So like, here's all the larges, here's all the extra larges, here's all the smalls. And then just giant clumps of shirts that people were ravenously digging through to find anything cool or anything they wanted. And you paid 20 bucks. And you got a, uh, a tote bag. And anything that you could fit in the tote bag without falling out, you got to keep. And it was... It was insanity. And so, like, uh, me and my kids were finally able to, like, muscle our way into the small section. And, you know, my kids picked out a whole bunch of shirts that they liked. And then it got too much for them, so they, they stepped out into kind of the more open area. And then I, I had to... I think I punched three old ladies to get to the men's <laughs> large section and just okay this is fine this is fine this is fine just filled up my tote bag as much as i could well, i guess it all started when you decided to murder each other in front of the hospital that kind of rubbed me the wrong way Man, look at how giant that guy is they're all giant we've established this they're all giant spider-man is is a midget in this game <laughs> spider-man uh Ant-Man accidentally hit Spider-Man with one of his discs. <laughs> Are you going to lose your shit if in, the, if in this game he's shorter than Wolverine? Are you going to lose your shit? I will absolutely lose my shit if he is shorter than Wolverine in this game. 
Uh, because Wolverine is supposed to be very short. And it's like, but but I can defend Luke Cage being taller than Spider-Man because that makes sense. But just every thug being, yeah. Yeah. also being a giant, that's where I can draw a line. Spider-Man is a hobbit in this in this game. He has a hands-free cell phone. Oh, he's he's got a, a Bluetooth headset. Uh, yeah, in his apparently. Yeah, let's just we'll just say yeah. But uh, no, we uh, we had a great time at the Yeti sale. They had uh, they had they did have they had really they had really they they were selling like vinyl uh, video game soundtracks. If I if I had a record player, I probably would have brought bought a couple. But they had a lot of vinyl neat stuff. Video game soundtracks. Oh Listen, God. that's what people are into. People are into shit. <laughs> You know, people like collecting stuff. That's fine. And uh, and yeah, we bought we got it. We got a bunch of shirts. I, I don't know exactly the count at the end of the day because you know we ju I, we just started grabbing and filling our tote bag. <laughs> but we had a great time. You brought your children. Sure. And they were okay on the trip. They. Uh, what's not to love about a road trip? When you're a child, what's not to love about a two-hour trip? It's just a two-hour road trip. We, uh, I have been preparing them for this their entire life. So they know, like, they brought books. They brought, you know, paper to, to you know, color and draw with. And uh, and on the way back, we stopped by the Red Box and we rented a movie for the, for the drive back. And they loved it. So on the way down, they were reading books and uh, drawing and shit. They bought some shirts, and on the way back, they watched, um, I don't know, some movie. I forget what it was. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. Road trips are great. And I did decide, I know people are going to definitely care about this, so I'm going to take that. I did decide to take the tollway. Just to save time. Because uh, it actually would have added an extra hour and a half each direction to oh go the no God. toll. And I decided that wasn't really worth it. And the tolls were only $8 each way. I mean, still, you know, 16 bucks. But saved me three hours. It's eating into your t-shirt savings. It is. It is. But saved me three hours, so I'm going to be okay with it. The, uh... But still, I mean, still eight dollars, eight, eight bucks just in tolls. That ain't not nothing. I don't know about Aurora, but I know it's not that bad getting to Chicago without tolls. Chicago proper, like downtown. Yeah. Uh, well, even even the uh, south suburbs through that. But sure, and yeah. I, I mean just that that first tollway, you know, before you get to Six Flags from Milwaukee. Two ninety four, yeah. Oh no, it's up now, isn't it? What? Isn't it more than uh, three bucks now? The road is two ninety four. Oh, the road is two ninety four. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, I was gonna say like that one alone is like four bucks. Five. Maybe, maybe even the one at the border is like five. It's crazy. Like that's five, and then getting to Chicago, then there's just one other toll, and that one might be two. But no, I mean it's not. It's not the worst, and you know what the. The highways, as soon as you cross over to the Illinois side, they're a lot better. <laughs> they're just a lot better. <laughs> they take care of them. Ballpark the number of shirts I got? Uh, probably 30. Probably 30. Uh, like, maybe 8 for each of the kids. And then at least 12 to 15 for me. So... Aroundish thirty shirts for twenty bucks. I'm gonna be absolutely okay with that. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to fuck up and redo this little. Oh sure. It's a lot of fucking snipers. Yeah, this gang is really well coordinated. <laughs> the, these aren't the gang. They're not. No. But they're orange like the gang. The red, Jack. The red, and they're wearing like tech suits. I was, I was gonna actually ask yeah. about how the gang got their tech suits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, tough, Cage. The hero I ever met 
just use me for a punching get an eye pass i should get an eye pass i got to do what i got to do with or without me my crew 30 that's a lot any duplicates uh, you know the kids got some duplicates you know like they liked the same shirt so you get two of the same for the kids but no for me no duplicates go good spider man all right be good all right be good do well <laughs> be good do well you were played trying to make you 20 dollars plus gas my car gets decent gas mileage plus 16 dollars in toll so 36 i mean it's on it probably only cost me like less than 10 in gas to get there and back because i get decent gas mileage so i'll say 46 dollars for 30 shirts and you know about five hours this game is 10 years 10 years old. Welcome to aging. Time moves forward, Rich. Welcome to aging normally. Can you believe it? Time passes at regular <laughs> intervals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got some t-shirts. They had some really uh, cool like uh, stuffed animals. That the kids got. They had a food truck that was making um, a homemade donuts. So we had a couple of those. Uh, they had a little coffee stand that was doing uh, nitro cold brew coffee, which is some of the most delicious coffee you will ever drink. It was a hipster extravaganza. <laughs> so it was great. Hipster extravaganza. It was the hipster extravaganza. You're damaging your children, Jack. Ah, they're fine. <laughs> ah, they're going to be fine. Children are going to go to school, and they're going to be trying to talk to their friends about the latest vinyl albums, and they're just going to be they're going to be fucking outcasts. Uh, are you kidding? I live in a hipster neighborhood. Their friends are going to be embarrassed that we don't have any vinyls. Oh, God. <laughs> My kids will be like, oh, like we want to trade Pokemon cards, and they're like, are they organic? <laughs> <laughs> the other kids it's, are gonna be like, we. It's f sad because it's true, it, right? The other kids are gonna say we can only watch uh, twenty minutes of television a day because that's uh, how much our solar battery charges our television. Uh. <laughs> that was a great time. It was a great time, and I love road trips. Ah! And, you know, the, on the way back, the kids wanted to watch some, you know, like, I let the kids rent whatever they wanted from the red box, because in our, we have a minivan. Yeah. Because, of course, we do, because we have children. Uh, and it's got a little DVD player, and so, yeah, like, the kids were, you know, watching their movie or whatnot, and I stuck in some headphones, and was just listening to NPR. So you just get to listen to some nice NPR programs. I love road trips. I love driving. We made peace between the gangs, Jack. By punching them all? By, by, by showing them that somebody had set them up to go after each other. Oh, the, the the power suit guys. Yeah. So now the blues and the oranges are friends? Now the blues and the purples, Jack. The purple. All right. The purple, oh, and, the purple the, and the oranges. The yeah. purples the purple. and the oranges are friends now. Great. I'm, I'm very happy for the purples and the oranges. The stylish headquarters of the how long will it be until cassettes are cool? Oh, Thunderbird. Cassettes are already, we're already cool and are gone now. If you go to a, a hipster show right now, they are selling a cassette. If you go to a, like a concert with a hipster band, they are selling their album on cassette. I guarantee it. Cassettes are cool again. And in fact, it's been too long where they're no longer cool. No, they're not. Yeah. They were cool about five years ago. That's when people were doing cassettes. Hi. Nope. <laughs> oh, we got we to chase her. I don't oh. think it'll do me any good to try anything proactive like punching her because this is the, the chase black hat segment. Good. Oh, okay. And even if you get in front of you, you just kind of got to wait for her. I think. Yeah. Cassettes are garbage. Yes. Cassettes are garbage, uh, but uh, they're, they're also relatively inexpensive to produce and uh, kind of a novelty. 
And so you can't make the argument, like with vinyl, you can, uh, a lot of people do make the argument that the sound quality is better on vinyl. Yeah. Than, uh, than a digital or, a, or you know, a, co- a digital on compact disc. But you can't make that argument with cassettes. But they are relatively cheap to produce, and it's cute. You go, ah, look, I got a cassette. Yeah, I know these controls, damn it. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> That's true, and Cephalopathetic says cassettes are also frequently packaged with a download code so you get the good audio quality version too. And and by the way, that's the same with vinyls. Like if you buy a vinyl, usually it has a download code too. So you can Alright, I know there's some bullshit reason why vinyl is better. Yeah. I don't do cassettes have that? No, of course not. It's so like... it's purely just dumb ironic shit? Yep. <sighs> yep. Fuck off! Fuck off, you fucking hipster garbage fucking... Yeah! Fuck oh. off! The you. hipsters broke rich! <laughs> you're obnoxious! You're, you're just... You're fucking obnoxious! That's cute. I hate you so much I can't find words for my hate. You 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 literally yeah. gargled. Like... <laughs> Your hate gurgled up. <laughs> no, and you know, I think, I think, like, you know, five-ish years ago when people, you know, were, were getting on the cassette craze, I think there was an argument that a lot of people still had cassette players in their cars. And Says the guy with the show about VHS tapes. Because that's what the bad movies are on! We happily watch them on Blu-ray. It, if there's a Blu-ray version, we will watch that version. But no one's running out to make a Blu-ray version of White Fire. Unless they did. Did they do that? I don't know. We didn't have it if they did. And if we did, we would have right. watched that version. Of course. We watch the best quality crap we can. Didn't we watch Ninja, Ninja 3 on Blu-ray? Such high quality, you could actually see the wire holding up the ghost sword. Ninja 3, the domination. Oh, yeah. That was great. That was great. Uh, so high a quality, you can see how truly awful it is. Blu-ray of Suburban Sasquatch. Uh, that, uh, that's on, we have that on DVD, so, you know. Our pretty little eyeballs in trouble again, no doubt. I don't know. What? I don't know. I must be seeing things. Oh, oh by the way, the, one of the part of the bad option in this game, you you can basically leave Mary Jane for Black Cat. Uh, 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 uh yes, first of all, yes. <laughs> if you if you take the uh the dark suit option. Yeah. I don't see why you wouldn't. Is that the hobgoblin or just the glider? Just just people with gliders. <laughs> Can Mary Jane leave you for Black Cat? That's the That's a it's a whole different game. That's a whole different uh, set of fan fiction there, my friend, but you know, you you do you. Ah, he made a hobgoblin joke. Of course, too. of course he did. He had to. Well, yeah, cuz he looks like the hobgoblin. Oh, speaking of, have Batman and Catwoman gotten married yet, and have they gotten divorced yet? <laughs> has that has that happened yet? I, I'm trying to remember what my prediction was after they get married. How many issues it lasts? I think I gave them six issues. I I, I, I might be as generous as eight. Eight issues before they, they get can't. They can't tell a story in in only six issues anymore, Jack. How many issues is a trade paperback? Isn't that that's only like four or five? I thought. Well, it can vary. It depends on the story. Sure, I suppose. Oh, I suppose. On, it happens well, next issue. Okay, so it happens next. It happens next month. 
Can we have a little? Can we make a little thing for overlay? The Bat Batman Catwoman marriage watch. How many days? Batman and Catwoman have been married for. Yeah, X amount of days. Yes, X amount of months or issues. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Because we stream twice a week, it has to be days. <laughs> okay, I'm down yeah. with that. We can. I can. I can now make that happen. Absolutely. We'll do it months, weeks, days. I uh, just da days will be easy, because then I, c I can just put you know a little blank space in between days, and then we can fill in the number uh, like we do with uh, what we're playing. So that'll be easy. What? Order minis. Say Jack. What? what did, you, did you do it or did uh. you fail? Apparently, I want the. I, I apparently I left the mission zone again. Uh, Stop leaving the mission zone. Come on, guys. There's only one of me, and there's like. What I say is the best Spidey suit. I'm I'm fond of this one. Yeah. This one's not bad. The eye, the the mask looks absolutely fantastic in the PlayStation 4 one. I was gonna. Oh, I thought you were gonna say in this one, which it does not. No, no, no. The PlayStation 4 one has the best mask overall. Mm -hmm. This is the best. Eh. You speak the truth to Kanchu. Eh, I don't know. In any of the games? I'm well, I I'm trying to think yeah. of the other games. It's it's hard to say just because there's also a million games. I hate the Sam Raimi costume with the raised webbing and that fucking basketball texture for no reason. He looks like a <laughs> Spider-Man looks like a fucking basketball in those movies. I can't stand it. Uh I can I can be with you there. Uh I I like uh I followed the fucking arrow. What do you want? Uh, I think we might have been talking about this off camera, but I I really enjoy the homecoming suit. Yeah, that's a fine. That's a great suit. That's a great suit. It's not in any game. Oh no, no, just Spider-Man suit in general. Yeah. I guess, but come on, guys. There's only one of me, and there's like. No, oh, and you know I like his. Uh, I like his. Uh, I, I like. I know, I know you don't much care for it, but I, I like the white lines and I like the sneakers. I like his sneakers in the uh, in the um, PS4 game. I, okay. You know why? You would have sneakers. You wouldn't have bare feet. If you're you're running all over the place. How's he sticking to the building? Magic. I don't give a fuck. Just with his hands. I thought I was nuts. Fucking magic. Maybe maybe his toes don't have any padding. But you're also walking around the streets of New York. You need sneakers. You're gonna like walk into so much broken glass. <laughs> if you just have like fabric over your feet. What do you want? What am I doing wrong, game? Game? What am I doing wrong? Hanover F no everyone hates Scarlet Spider's outfit, the 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 sweatshirt yeah. with the sleeves cut off yeah is super ugly. Everyone agrees on that. I'm not even that much of a contrarian to say well actually Scarlet Spider no like it's just, it's awful, it's awful. Oh that voice. Oh my god. Oh, there you go. What's going on here? Are you actually working for Mr. Monster Butt? What did you steal? Oh. There you go. You did it. get it. You want to know what I want? What'd you say? She has a grab and kiss move. Oh. You might get seriously hurt. Seriously? I seriously enjoyed that. Bring it on. Okay, Felicia, fun's over. Oh no. Fun is just beginning. This is a neat fight. Fighting her and the hand yeah. glider. Can you start every stream one hour earlier? Uh, no. Not, yeah, sometimes we can't. Today it worked out. Um, 
Uh, and today it mostly worked out because we've had an incredibly long weekend full of very late nights. And so I just kind of want to be done a little earlier tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, as it's catching up with me. Uh, Fucko Marks says, I just rewatched The Revenant and still thought it was good. Any thoughts on it? Rich, have you seen The Revenant? No. I have also not seen The Revenant. Okay. Great. Sorry, Fucko Marks. Way to besmirch Groucho's good name. Ah, oh, yeah, that's cute. You know what? It's cute. Can you think of a soap? Oh. Uh, can you think of a solution to the problem of superheroes need a mask to protect uh, their identity, uh, but a big star... Just needs to show their face. Fuck the star, keep the mask on. Yep. There you go. Problem solved. Boom. Fuck the star. Uh, the star's gonna have uh, plenty of fucking scenes with the goddamn mask off. Yep. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. And uh, now we got Deadpool, who is perfectly okay CGIing emotions on the mask. And the new Spider-Man mask does a really great job of also showing emotion. Yeah. So, no, we're, we're already solving that problem. And and stars, the 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 world, the the what do I want to say here? The the way movies are made is changing. I don't think stars care that much anymore. Back in the day, yeah, they want. Oh, hey, you gotta see, you gotta see to kiss her, because that's what <laughs> sells the tickets, my friend, right? But I don't think that's a, that case anymore. People don't care. Like, people didn't care who Tom Holland was. That's not why they went to go see the Spider-Man movie. They saw the Spider-Man movie to see Spider-Man. And I think everyone knows that now. And so they're all, they're, everyone's okay not seeing the actor's face anymore. Even the actor is okay with it. Oh, shit. And so we're getting there. The, I think the name of the movie matters more than the name of the actor in the movie nowadays. And so we're getting there. I, I think, you know, not every hero mask will translate to the Deadpool Spider-Man formula as well. And so that will just be a fun process for uh, costume designers. Rick or Rod says, I wanted to see Dread. I finally saw Dread. Dread is a great is a, is a great case for uh, for the mask working. I had to prove uh, to Lisa that that was uh, Carl Urban. <laughs> she didn't believe you? She didn't believe me. You know, we, I think we were talking about like Thor Ragnarok or, or whatnot and joking uh, oh it was after we watched the lord of the rings because carl urban is in lord of the rings you know very young carl urban yeah. is in lord of the rings and he's also in thor ragnarok uh, along with kate blanchett who's also in lord of the rings and yeah. you know oh, we were joking about that and i'm i offhandedly made a little dread reference and she's like what are you what are you talking about <laughs> it's like Car carl urban is dread and she no he's not <laughs> he wouldn't the, he didn't show his face. That was a nobody actor. He wouldn't do that. I was like, he's fucking dread. Of course he is. That's what makes him so cool is he was willing to cover his face right, for right, the whole movie. Right. As an actor, he was willing to make that sacrifice. And she's like, no. So we had, like, she made me look it up on IMDb. I was like, see? <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Fucking dealt me. <laughs> <laughs> well, she knows I'm wrong. Ah, oh. God damn it, Jack. You made me miss the quick time event. The goddamn quick time event. Why do these still exist? Well, actually, this is ten years ten old. Years ago, so, yeah. okay. Yeah. X. <laughs> I 
was I was looking at you again, Jack. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> that is the best fail ever on a quick time event. You killed I love her! It. I love it. You killed her. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck 